Hey, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the look of realistic water drops. Before we begin, if you want to know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials, smash that subscribe button and please remember to click like if you like this video. Click the new layer icon to make a new layer. Open your elliptical marquee tool and press and hold the shift key as you drag out a circular selection approximately this size. We want to apply a black to white gradient to the inside of our circular selection. If your foreground and background colors aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Open your gradient tool and gradient presets. If you don't see the black and white preset, we can find it in the Basics folder or in the Legacy Gradients folder. If you don't see either of these folders, go to Window and Gradients. Click the icon at the upper right of the Gradients panel and click Legacy Gradients. Open the Legacy Gradients folder and the Legacy Default Gradients. There you'll find the black and white preset. Make sure the linear gradient icon is active. Go to the upper left of the selection and press and hold the shift key as you drag the gradient tool to the lower right. Pressing shift can find the gradient to a 45 degree angle. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Change its blend mode to overlay. Double click the top layer to open its layer style window. Click Inner Shadow. The blend mode is Linear Burn, the color is black, and the opacity is 40%. Uncheck Global Light and make the angle minus 30 degrees. The distance is 2 pixels, the choke is 0, and the size is 5 pixels. The contour is linear. Click Drop Shadow. The blend mode is Linear Burn, the color is black, and the opacity is 20%. Uncheck Global Light and make the angle 130 degrees. The distance is 15 pixels, the spread is 0, and the size is 14 pixels. The contour is linear. Make a new layer. In this layer, we'll create a small highlight on the water drop. Let's name it Highlight. Open your brush tool. Invert the foreground and background colors by pressing X on your keyboard. White should be our foreground color. Open the brush picker and pick a soft round brush. The size is 14 pixels and the hardness is 50%. The opacity and flow are both 100%. Place your cursor approximately here and click once. We'll place the water drop and its highlight into a folder. To do this, shift click layer 1 to make it active as well and press Ctrl or Command G. Let's make three copies of it to make three more water drops. Press Ctrl or Command J three times. Hide the top two copies and make the first copy active. Press V to open your move tool and make sure auto select isn't checked. I'll explain the reason in a moment. Drag the water drop copy over. If auto select was checked, the highlight would have remained in its original position and not moved along with the water drop. We'll resize it by pressing Ctrl or Command T to open our transform tool. Go to a corner. If you're using CC 2019 or later, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag it in or out. On earlier versions, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it. To reposition it, go inside the Transform's bounding box and drag it. Then press Enter or Return. Make the next folder visible and active. Drag it over, open your Transform tool, and resize it. We'll make the last water drop asymmetrical. Make its folder visible and active. Drag it over and resize it. Open the top folder 
and hide the highlight. I'll explain the reason we're hiding it in a minute. Make the water drop layer active. Go to Filter and Liquify. We'll adjust the size in a moment. The pressure is 100 and the density is 50. Make sure the Forward Warp tool is active. This tool pushes pixels forward as we drag it. To adjust the size of the brush, make sure the Caps Lock key is off and press the left or right bracket key on your keyboard until it's approximately the size of your circle. Drag it to a shape you like. Make the highlight visible again. If we didn't hide the highlight, the Liquify tool would have warped it as well. Next, we'll fade the taper end of the asymmetrical drop into the leaf. Make the top folder active and click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the folder. Press B to open back your brush tool and increase its size approximately this much. If your colors are white and black respectively, invert them by pressing X. Black should be our foreground color. Make sure its opacity is 50%. Click once or twice over the tapered end. Lastly, we'll enlarge and spherize the inside of each water drop because their surfaces curve outward to make a dome. This convex curvature bends light rays inward around the edges and magnifies the center. Scroll down and make the leaf active. Make a copy of it. Control or Command click the water drop to select its shape. Go to Filter, Distort, and Spherize. Make the amount 100%. Then deselect it. Close the folder and open the next folder. Select the shape of this water drop. Repeat the last filter by pressing Ctrl-Alt-F on Windows or Command-Ctrl-F on a Mac. Then deselect it. Repeat these steps for your remaining water drops. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.